guys, today I'm here to answer a question that I received in a previous video and that is how do you seal your paper stickers for resin? Because I mentioned that I found a good way to seal them. And first of all, I want to get out there that there are many ways to seal your stickers and there are many tutorials out there. Um, I have watched Crafters Delights tutorial and I think it is actually probably the best way to steal your stickers. Steal steal seal your stickers and um i would suggest actually doing her way but honestly i am a lazy person i have no patience and i have found that this way works for me and so far i have not had a resin leak but we'll see and also the berry holic has a video over on papricot actually how she uses mod podge to seal her stickers but today i'm going to be using packaging tape clear tape so, let's get started. This is going to be a real easy, short tutorial. I'm going to use these paper stickers, and I'm using them because I've opened them, obviously. So you're going to take a piece of tape, and if you kind of have stiff tape, you're going to get streaky lines when you peel it off, and you're just going to avoid those lines, actually. So, put your tape down, cut it off wherever you want it, and I'm going to pull a little bit more off there and use this section right here because it looks the cleanest. So you're going to randomly pick a sticker. Well, you don't have to randomly pick it. You can use whatever sticker you want. And then you're going to put it on the clean area and make sure you don't get fingerprints on here at this time. Just pat it down, make sure there are no air bubbles and then go ahead and cut your tape. And then what you're going to do is just fold your tape in half. Now sometimes you can get wrinkles in your tape, so you want to do this very carefully, like this. And then, I don't know if you can see this, but there are kind of air bubbles around the sticker, so you're going to push them out and make the tape line go as close as you can to the sticker without damaging the sticker. See, like this air bubble. We're not going to use that part, but that's just an example of pushing the air bubbles out. Once you have it sealed, you're going to take a scissors and just cut around it. And then I'm going to trim around it again. I like to cut pretty close to the sticker, but I try to stay outside of the kind of air lines, if you can see that. But depending on your resin piece or base, you'll have to cut pretty close. Ta-da! And that is actually it. The most simple way ever to seal your stickers. And I've only done this with UV resin, so to be honest, I'm not sure how it will work with two-part resin sitting in liquid for a long time. But with UV resin, this method has worked for me so far. I've also only used smaller stickers, so this way is not 100%. But, like I said, it works for me, that's why I'm introducing it. I'm not friends with Mod Podge, and Nail Top Coat, Nail Top, Nail Top Coat hates me. And, like I said, I think Crafter's Delight's way is the best way. But, um, I'm just a bit lazy. But, if you are making pieces to sell, I would definitely suggest checking out her tutorial. But, yes, this way has worked for me, and here is a resin piece that... I've used with a sticker. You can't really see the sticker line unless you put it like in a certain way like that. But I mean, with a clear sticker you're going to be able to see the edges anyway. So if you cut around it nicely, it won't look weird. So I hope this helped you guys. And if it doesn't work, I'm sorry. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!